when you made that first pass by that residence at 2.45 in the morning, sir, with your headlights on, what, if anything, did you see no. on the front lawn in the area no. of the flagpole? I saw nothing. Uh, if there had been a six foot two, two hundred pound man lying in the snow there, would you have seen it? Objection. I'll allow that. Objection. I'll allow that. The policies that the EPW have regarding par cars parked in the streets during a blizzard, where there's uh, problems to be done. Um, we are to uh, notify the super the uh, supervisor. Policy from those early morning hours? No, I did not. Why? Because I was being courteous to the Alba family. Man. Right. Right. So he, you waited until he moved his Jeep out of the um, way. September yes. 4th and then you pulled birthday. in. Yes. Where, where in the driveway did you pull in? I believe I pulled to the left side of the driveway. Uh, you would have been closest to the garage, or was there a car before, between you and the garage? Maybe close. I would have been closest. Edge at any point that night after you got home? No. I already told him it was a Ford Edge. We brought you out to the parking lot, parking lot at the skating rink that you were meeting at. Specifically showed you a Ford Edge and asked you if that was the vehicle. Correct. Now, do you know sort of the difference between if you would see a Ford Edge at nighttime in a snowstorm, uh, the difference between a Ford Edge and a Jeep Cherokee? Yes. What's the difference? The taillights in the back. What about? Ford uh, Edge is a more round. The, the, the whole back yeah! facade is a little bit more round. A Jeep Cherokee are more square. Are you familiar yeah. with the Albert family? Yes. Which members of the Albert family were you familiar with? All of them. It's an air ride seat, so the seat is raised so I can see over the hood, and I can see about five feet on either side of the passenger side, driver's side. When you say five feet, are you talking straight out from the... Okay. From the windshield, straight out. Uh, that's on seat press about 230, 235. Okay. In front of the front. And what were you able to see of uh, the front lawn of the Albert residence that very first time you passed? I was able to see the entire front lawn. And about what time was it that you first passed 34 Fairview Road? About 2.45. And now, when you're plowing, uh, where is your attention focused, sir? My attention's focused in front of me and then to the sides. <laughs> Why would your attention be focused to the sides? Uh, I am uh, trying to be aware of uh, any side traffic, any pedestrians, and, God forbid, any animals. Uh, I'm, again, making sure that there are no animals, no pedestrians and making sure no one's coming out of their driveway, not expecting this. Which driveway did you see the flat pole there? Yes. Is that something you had seen previously? Yes. And when you made that first pass by that residence at 2.45 in the morning, sir, with your headlights on, what, if anything, did you see on the front lawn in the area of the flat pole? I saw nothing.